Hey guys, today I'm going to be uh, explaining how to add new items into uh, the new survival inventory update. So we're going to start by going into the blueprints item folder, then item data. And then I'm just going to explain a few of these options here. So you've got obviously name and description. This is what's going to show up on the tooltip in your inventory. You've got weight. Then you've got category. So um, we'll start with consumable. If you pick consumable, the item, when the character uses it, it will apply these stats uh, down here to their hunger, thirst, health, and stamina. Um, and you can either add or remove uh, those stats with your item. Uh, next, we've got equipment. So equipment will allow an item to be equipped to your character, and it will equip to the slot that you select here. And then we've got a couple of other uh, categories here. These are just added in as sort of examples. So um, you could have custom um, actions for these. Uh, so if you select one of these, the item won't actually do anything. Um, it's up to you to sort of add in those uh, things. Um, next we've got the holdable. So if this is ticked, um, the player will be able to um, select the number of the item that's it's on their quick bar and it will um, spawn the holdable class um, to their hands so um, like we have the flashlight in the example we can spawn um, blueprints and attach them to our character's hands um, to be able to select um, a class it needs to be um, a child of the master holdable um, actor so I'll go through that in a second, um, we'll just finish up here. Droppable is uh, just if the item can be dropped. Stackable is, again, stackable. Uh, max stack is how many items in a stack you can have. Um, inventory slots, this will only affect if your um, equipment slot is set to, uh, no, sorry, it won't. Um, so if uh, any of these items are equipped, so if your item is a um, equipment, uh, backpack we can set the inventory slots here and this is how many inventory slots it will add to your character's backpack um, but that yes that, that will only work if this is an equipment and then you have to select one of these so uh, moving on we've got um, use text so this is just the um, text that will appear when you right click the item so for an apple it would be eat and then like I said before you've got your stats text um, stats variables here um, pretty self-explanatory um, then you've got the icon that will show in your inventory uh, the world mesh and then you've got the equipped mesh so world mesh is just what you'll see in the world and then equipment mesh again it will only affect if you've got a um, if you've selected equipment item and an equipment slot so this is a skeletal ma mesh which means it needs to be skinned to the character's um, uh, skeleton. Um, I actually have a different video that shows how to do this. Um, I will link that in the description. So you'll be able to um, take a static mesh and actually skin it to your um, character. So it'll be uh, part of their equipment. So next I'm gonna show you um, how the holdable items work. So, um, We'll use the flashlight as an example. So here we have um, a custom event, and with this custom event, I've just got it set up so it can turn on and off uh, lights, um, and uh, that will work on multiplayer as well. So we can actually look at some of its stats as well. So um, holdable um, actors have um, custom animations so here we can select whether we want to play the equipped animation or not so if that's ticked we'll play the uh, getting the, the item out animation and putting it away um, and here we've got some of our first person animations that you can override and then you've got your third person animations in here as well so this allows you to have um, if you did for instance add an, a gun um, you could have uh, different holding animations for your first person and third person. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, 
if you have an actor, for instance, like a gun or a torch or an axe or something like that already, um, you're going to want to reparent it to the master holdable um, actor. That way you're going to be able to set it in the item um, holdable class here, which means the system will be able to spawn it. And then, um, yeah, if you want any custom actions, um, it will come with this event. So if I actually show you, I'll create a child and I'll open this up, go to the event graph and I'll type in custom event action. And now, um, so by default, this event on the character is bound to F. So when my player presses F, when I have this item in my hands, it will do whatever I need it to do here. So next I'll just quickly show you how to actually add an item into here, just in case you don't know. Um, you just click this little plus arrow here. You see we've added a new row and we can name the row to whatever you want and then you can start setting up your uh, variables in here. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, just um, uh, email me at support at diffusestudios.com and I'll do my best to help you out. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.